Go to you, Abby. Um, first of all, the crisis unfolding in Venezuela is something that is familiar to you since you've been to Venezuela several times to have done several episodes of the Empire Files. What do you make of the unfolding crisis and the events that led up to Juan Guaido swearing himself in? Well, Charmini, thank you very much for, for doing this because the corporate media has essentially been um, covering Venezuela with wall-to-wall -wall pro coup, pro-regime change propaganda. And, and this is nothing new, of course. We know that there's another side of the story that's been completely obfuscated from um, the elitist media circles, um, and that's essentially even includes some left media circles, unfortunately, as well. Um, look, we know that this has been coming ever since, uh, of course, 1999, when Hugo Chavez was democratically elected in Venezuela. We know that the U.S. empire and its cronies and its regime change proxy fronts, the Organization of American States, the Lima Group, all of these entities have been pushing um, for undemocratic, um, regime change efforts in Venezuela. So you can go to the 2002 coup um, where they ousted Hugo Chavez at the barrel of a gun, tried to privatize the national resources. So they really revealed their hand then. And they haven't stopped since. I mean, we're talking about a leadership here that has a mass base of support. We're talking about 6.2 million people, Chavistas in the country that went out last year to vote for Maduro. Um, so yeah, I mean, there are millions of people on the street, of course, um, protesting this, right? Asking for the ouster of Maduro, but you cannot ignore the millions of people also who are pro Maduro, who are Trivista, who are building this base of the Bolivarian revolution and they do not want to discard the gains, the widespread social gains that have been in place. Look, we're talking about a guy, Juan Guado. 80% um, of the country doesn't know who this guy is. Um, he just appointed himself president. That would be akin to Nancy Pelosi appointing herself president and then China and Russia imposing um, their rule to basically say, no, this is the new president of the United States. I mean, it's so absolutely absurd what is going on. We're talking about a country that has elections every year. Um, the opposition is too fragmented to win elections, so they choose to boycott elections. And then they use the elections to say they're illegitimate because they decide not to run. It's quite fascinating to call something a dictatorship that has free and fair elections. It, and, and I'm talking, the, the, the opposition actually told the UN to not come and observe. So it is just unbelievable. I mean, last year when the elections were held, Maduro asked the opposition, please, we want a dialogue. We want you to run. They were begging opposition members to run in the elections. The polling places were attacked. Um, socialist enclaves were attacked. People were assassinated and lynched. Um, just yesterday, someone was burned alive again. So we cannot forget that there's an entire other side of the story and that this is no doubt an undemocratic, illegal coup perpetrated by the U.S. government um, and its regime change proxies.